me yd28 and welcome back to my channel the sims 4 i'm a lover challenge so last part was our first date night and today is the sunday today is a sunday so yeah yeah oh my god i don't know anyways uh we haven't gone to the our bookstore and our retail store in a while so i thought today we would hello that bot though Oh, Val, your booty though. Um, so I thought we'd go there today and bring Caleb, get him to help out because, you know, he is potentially going to be owning that store when he's an adult. Maybe. I don't know. We will decide at a later time. So we're going to go ahead and get ready to head over there. We have a ton of books to put on sale. And I was thinking we'd put these flowers on sale as well. All right, we just fed you, we'll rock you and cuddle you and all of that. We're gonna have some low fun right now so we're not feeling too, too hot. Caleb is like, this place is nasty. How about you be a good little boy and clean up the dishes for your parents or not? Clean up the dishes. There you go. Jay is sleeping in. He does have work at 2 p.m. so he should get up soon and uh, get ready for that. He does need to work out a little bit more. For that, I think he'll actually do heavy lifting. He is not a just lift some light weights guy. He is a I want to buff up and turn to like Mr. Universe buff, you know? Yeah, no. Uh, so Val is going to go ahead and I think she's going to read her every time book. And I'm not sure, does analyzing the book do anything? Like, if we analyze the book, does that increase the quality? I don't know. I don't know. I'd like to know. But she's going to read this a little bit. It's making her all happy on the inside. Caleb's yelling at something. I'm not sure what. But I think he'll take a bath while we're waiting. That way he's all squeaky clean for the... Oh, there's... Oh, okay, so what I did was I downloaded the um, story progression mod... Um, and it's by, uh, Dead, Deaderpool, Deaderpool, and it's on Mod The Sims, uh, and, um, yeah, so you can just go, oh, I see, okay, well, anyways, I didn't know this was a thing, <laughs> but, um, I'm not sure if it's working properly, uh, it's supposed to allow, um, non-played sims to marry and get pregnant and you know have their own families which is really important to me because i hate how no one else has families or relationships going on um yeah oh apparently i can click on them here and do nothing with them that is very cool yep apparently mortimer goth died what what? He looks so young. When did he die? Where's Bella? How old is she? I don't even know. Anyways, that's enough of that. I think we're going to go ahead, change into our everyday two. No, our everyday one. Let's go back to the basics. No, our everyday three. I can't decide. Yeah, this is definitely the outfit for today. And we're going to go travel with Caleb. Valentina will see you there. Excellent. And we are going to go to Magnolia Promenade. And we're going to go to our sweethearts. All right, so here we are back at the store. Uh, let's go ahead and check. Our current retail store has 1,500 simoleons and our household funds have 2,000. I think that is fine for now. Uh, we're going to go ahead, though, and throw our books on the shelf. We're going to throw up this one and this one and uh, restock this one. And uh, he can't do anything, which is very awesome. <laughs> Can't even uh, restock anything. 
Oh, it looks like he's confused. It looks like he's glitching out. Okay, he's okay now. Um, yeah, we're gonna go ahead and restock. Uh, let's go ahead and open the store. Our employee should uh, come here. Two? We have an employee, don't we? I thought we hired someone. Maybe, did we let her go? Anyways, I guess we'll re... They won't come until the next... Okay, let's go ahead and close the store then. Yeah, 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 I know, I know, I know. Okay. Let's go ahead and hire someone to help out because we do start... We are going to start needing that. She has... Uh, I want someone with fairly good sales experience. Um, doesn't matter if they're fit. Which would probably be this Leslie chick. Alright, so we're gonna go ahead and open the store. Uh, okay, and she should be coming in now. Uh, employee uniform. You know what? They can wear whatever they want uh, for now. It's totally fine. Uh, we're gonna brighten his day. And go ahead. Oh, don't remove the sign. We're going to go ahead and continue restocking these items. Can I put books on the, on this thing? Because I have space. Yes, I can. Okay, cool. So these two will have to go here. And we have to set these for sale. What else is, uh... Oh. Just do it is our motivational book as well. So we have a ton of books for sale. Uh, we're going to assign that she answer customers' questions for us. Uh, that way she's getting people's sales going and all of that. We may also get her to... Uh, um, you know what? What I'm going to go ahead and do... Oh, I was going to say, it might also get her to uh, restock the items. But what I want is, like, a table and... the heck? I want a table. We're going to need a, a garbage can here now. Um, what? What? We have what? Oh, because I've restocked all these items. Crap. I don't even know now if we have enough. What we're going to do is we're going to get a... Oh, wow. I can't afford anything. Okay, we have to sell some things first before we... Uh, I wanted to buy a coffee machine. Uh, you're supposed to be talking to... Uh, check up on Leslie. Let's see what she's doing, what she's thinking. Oh my god, no, I want to check up on you! Berate for slacking. She's not slacking. Yes, she is. Oh my god, okay, go here. And then check up on her. Wow, there are so many people here right now, this is getting kind of crazy. Okay, so we are... Asking her how she is. She seems to be okay. Just let me earn my paycheck and you won't hear any complaints out of me. Okay. Uh, let's go ahead and greet our customer here. Miss Callie Davis. Apparently she's a teenager. She's a very voluptuous teenager. I could probably actually move this back a smidgen. Because it seems to be in the way. Oh, it's this chair that was really expensive. I hope someone buys it. Okay. Uh, so we're going to greet our customers, uh, ask about favorite author, all of that. Work for Jay starts in an hour. We're going to answer questions and Brighton Day, discuss the latest book, because uh, this is a bookstore, so we're going to ask and talk about art and pitch a story idea. These are all our personal books. Uh, yeah. I love her afro. 
This outfit, though, is really, really weird. <laughs> really, really weird. Times like these, I wish I was a fashion boutique. He's angry. Why? Aggravating conversation. Well, you just play on the monkey bars over here. How about you make friends with her? Who is this? Oh, hi, sweetheart. Oh, I love your glasses. You are so hip. You are. Let's invite her to play with us. But we're going to head back to Valentina. What choice? What value? Let's go ahead and ring her up. Uh, well, Leslie chats up the customers. Gets them all buttered up to, you know, buy items. If you know what I'm saying? You don't know what I'm saying. I'm so sorry. I apologize. <laughs> okay, I would like this to go faster. What choice? What a value? We'll ring you up as well. Jay is off to work. We're going to have him work hard. We just made 454 simoleons. We're going to ring him up as well. And then we'll definitely now be able to uh, purchase a table and a, uh, a coffee machine. Then we can have coffee for people and that'll be great. Oh my god. Let's uh, assign her to clean the store. He bought the chair for 912 simoleons. Yes. Alrighty. Yeah, if she could also restock. Oh my god, we're tired. You know what would fix that? A coffee machine. Kaylin just purchased. Just do it for 460 simoleons. Amazing. Just amazing. Okay, so we're gonna get a canter. Probably be just a black. No, I want it to match. This doesn't match. Oh. This does not really match. Oh wait, yes it does. What? That is really awesome, okay. And then we're going to get a, just a sloppy joey type uh, coffee machine. It'll be black. All right, and we're going to brew some coffee for some people to enjoy, um, to enjoy with their books. You know? Uh, we're also kind of hungry. So, yeah. Alright, let's go ahead and grab a drink. Do we have a... Uh, yes, we have a sink in there. What choice would value... Who... That's you. Isn't it? You. Okay. Okay, I wonder if we can do this at the same time. Let's see. If I go slow, we will see. Okay. We're gonna have to go and ring him up before. Okay, she's cleaning up. Uh, let's manage her. Uh, uh, we're gonna assign her to uh, restock these items now because we are starting to look a little bare. And then we're gonna drink with desperation. So apparently we can do that. And then, yeah, I think the store is doing quite well today. We have a lot of perk points, too. I think we were saving up. I don't want the register of tomorrow. Store supplier ordered too much inventory, and they're temporarily reducing prices to clear space. Cost of restocking items will be reduced for 12 hours. One additional employee, faster restocking. I want faster checkouts, so we're saving up for that. Alrighty. Very cool and very awesome. Alrighty. Hopefully everyone buys our items. I hope. I'm hoping and praying. We seem to be very, very tired, very, very hungry. We're talking with uh, Fallon, Gavin. Um, ask for camping info. She's a camping person? What the heck? Why can I get camping info from her now? That's what I would like to know. 
Oh my god, we don't seem to be making any money right now. Uh, how is she doing? She seems to be okay. Let's go ahead and praise her for her first day. Because she seems to be doing quite well. Which is really exciting. Okay, we're going to get her to answer customers' questions and get them all, uh... Okay, so hopefully she'll uh, talk to the customers and get them all, um doing stuff but we're asking this uh afro chick ruby davis uh for her, her price range uh it seems to be getting late we should close soon but our net profit is going way way down we need to have all these people buy something right now um caleb i think we're gonna send him home he does need to pee um uh, so gross from using a public bathroom. I don't even know where that was. Seemed to be feeling quite playful though. But yeah, Caleb's gonna head home. Um, and I'm hoping someone else buys something, but we're really, really tired. Jason has been sent to daycare, okay. What choice would value? Oh yes, yes. Okay, we're gonna come ring her up. Alrighty. We're like really uncomfortable. Hey boss, you've kept me working into overtime on the shift. I need to head home. In compliance with the fair labor sim law. Oh wow, okay. I did not know that they complained about overtime. Okay, we're gonna go ahead. Okay, goodbye. We're going to, who else is it? Ring up this customer, and then we can go ahead and close up shop. Oh, no, 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 no. Put that down. Put that down, please. Oh my god. Okay, good. Good. <laughs> All right, so we did not make money today. We did not make money. This is really, really hard, actually. I think we're glitched out. But we're going to go ahead and send her home. Um, kind of really upset we didn't turn a profit. Um... But we have 2,000 simoleons. Oh, we just passed out. Oh, I'm sorry. I work her way too hard. She just had a baby. We should be easy on her. You know? But, you know. It's the beginning. The beginning is always hard. There's not a lot of money. And we need to work extra hours. And it doesn't help that our husband is non-committal. And can't hold down a job because he doesn't want to. So it's really not our fault. Water is life. You guys should make sure that you're drinking tons of water. So uh, she's going to head to bed. That is really sweet. Oh, they look really awkward now, though, because they just finished. Uh, but he had a pretty good day at work. And he is totally fine. He's going to come and do some heavy lifting. Caleb, he ages up in eight days, so we have a week with him still. Um, he has to do, no, he doesn't have to do his homework, so he can come out here, play on the monkey bars too with his dad, hang out in the backyard, the two of them will work out together. Someone knocked over our, uh, our plant. But Val is sleeping, she's had a long, long, busy day. These guys are going to work out for a little bit, and then I'm going to send them to bed. Send them to bed if I can talk without flaring my words. Uh, so I'll see you guys in the morning. So I just got this notification. It's midnight on Sims. And I'm getting all these pregnancies started with Summer Holiday and Travis Scott are having a baby. Alice Spencer and Eric Lewis are having another baby. Dina and Alexander Goth are having a baby together. Uh, marriage 
uh, Gavin and William, they got married. Serena Braxton and Wesley got married. Desiree and Cordell got married. So all these people got married. Also, um, Eliza Pancakes and Bob Pancakes are having a baby. Uh, Zoe Patel and Mitchell Kalani. Allison George and Gavin Richards are pregnant. All these people are pregnant without marriage as well, I believe. And Don Lothario just knocked up this uh, Janet George, which I'm excited to see how many women Don Lothario gets pregnant. So the mod does work. So I'm really, really happy about that. So yeah, I'll see you guys in the morning. And as soon as I end it, Jason ages into a child. Oh my god. <laughs> This kid. Um, so they have to have, if I wrote down his, uh, oh, okay, his traits. He needs to be, um, I think I'm going to make Jason, because he's a redhead like his mom. He's going to be uh, hot-headed. That red hair means he's a little hot headed and hot tempered and he's gonna be a social butterfly he's super outgoing um, but he's also a firecracker uh, I think that would make it really fun and interesting to play him as a possible heir um, so yeah that's him let's take a look at him I'm gonna have to uh, do his room he looks like his dad a lot like his dad uh, yeah so let's put him into um, Creative Sam, let's plan his outfit really quickly. Okay, he's wearing all green. No. What does he look like? He looks like his dad. For sure. Yep. Doesn't really look like his mom. Oh my god, she's so gorgeous. A little bit. He has his dad's nose. I think he looks more like Val, to be honest. I love Sims genetics. Like these boys, they look similar for sure, but they all they look different at the same time. Uh, so this hair was new. It's from Perfect Patio Set, and I actually love this on him a lot. I think this suits him a hundred percent. These eyebrows are actually best. Uh, I think we're also gonna give him earrings. I think that'll make him really bad bum, bad bum. <laughs> Make him pretty cool. Pretty cool. Um, okay. And yeah, he's not gonna be an all green. I think he's a, cause he's a redheaded. I think he's like one of these things. Mean, I love this sweater jacket. Yeah, probably that one. And then these jeans, we're just gonna change them to denim. Then we still have a, some of the green, but it's mostly, uh, mostly black. I think we'll give him just, uh, regular chucks, too. Let's make, keep it real simple. And maybe give him, um, bracelet just to, just to know, you know, you know. Um... Uh, <laughs> not plaid. What is this? Okay, none of those. He's just gonna wear a regular uh, dress shirt and some, oh my god, white pants. He is a frickin' image, man. An image. We're gonna do navy blue. And some sacks, some navy blue sacks. Very good. Put his earrings back in, you know. Gotta keep that consistent look, you know. Uh, no earrings when you're working out. But we'll go ahead and just put him in a... You know, let's give him the zip up. And some shorts. And some sneakers. We'll do the yellow and black. Yeah. Uh, also, no earrings when he's going to bed. Apparently, he could wear an alien suit if he wished, but he won't. He will wear, I think, a red shirt and sure underwear. No slippers. 
good. Take off that silly hat, boy. You don't need that to look cool. You do not need that. You are cool on your own. Don't let anyone tell you otherwise. He's also going to wear a shark tooth necklace because why not? That is the big question. Why not? And I think he'll wear denim. Yeah. Denim and some ripped jeans because he is a cool kid if you know, if you know, if you know. And he'll also wear sneakers because, you know, it's kind of casual. Not like they wear their party attire at parties anyways. And for swimwear, he is um, not going to wear a t-shirt. And he's going to do shorts. Like that. There we are. So there is Jason. He is really, really cute. I kind of feel like maybe he should be the heir. Just because his red hair makes him endearing and also different different but I don't know I guess now as we play on within the next couple parts as uh, Caleb begins to age into a teenager you guys can um, start deciding which one you want to see as the heir we're gonna definitely be doing a straw poll um, soon um, but because of this now, I'm going to go ahead and end this part here. So if you guys are enjoying the series, please do give it a fat thumbs up and subscribe for more videos as I put them out fairly regularly. And I will see you guys next time. Bye guys. <laughs>